Welcome back to another video in our Typo3 Editor tutorial series. Today we will be talking about content elements and how to use them. There are many things you can do with your elements, from adding images or text to creating a map on your page that users can view and interact with. In this video we will focus on how to edit these elements. First, you need to know how to create a content element. This is done by going onto the desired page and clicking the button that says plus content. This will bring up a menu in which you can choose what type of element you would like to create. We will discuss the different types of elements in another video. Next, editing elements. If you have just created an element and selected what kind of element you would like, you will already be in the edit view. If you are not already editing an element, you will need to locate the pencil icon on the top right corner of the element. Please note that if you have a full width element that the edit icon will appear near your scroll bar at the far right side of your screen. If you have a split column layout, the icon will still appear in the top right corner of the element. However, this may no longer be towards the far right side of your screen. Here is an example. Once you are in the edit mode, you are able to customise the element to your needs. Different elements have different abilities, and it is therefore important to choose the most appropriate element. For example, if you want to add some text and an image, the text and images element would be best to use. In this type of element, you can add text in the header and subheader bar, or the text section at the bottom. To add an image, go to the Image tab next to the General tab found here. Now, click on Add Image. On the left, you will now see the file list. To learn more about the file list, please watch our video titled How to Navigate Typo3. There is a link in the top right as well as the description below. From here, you simply navigate to whichever image you want to display and click on it to add it to the element. Please note that when copying and pasting text into a text element, that it is vital you do so without formatting. This means that any styles or bullet points will not be carried across to your Typo3 text field. Text that does not have formatting is called plain text. One way to paste text as plain text is by using the paste icon that looks like a clipboard with the letter T. Another way is to use a text editor, like Notepad, that gets rid of formatting automatically. Next, deleting elements. If you are currently editing the element, this is done by clicking on the delete button located at the top of the element, above the title of the page. If you are not editing the element, you need to locate the trash icon on the top right side of the element you want to delete. This icon is next to the enable disable element toggle, which is next to the edit element icon we discussed earlier in the video. Finally, Copying and pasting an element. When in the page view, you can hover your mouse over the little square icon in the top left section of the element. Once hovering over the icon, right click and select Copy. To paste an element, simply go to the page you wish to paste the element onto. You will notice that a new button has appeared next to the Create Content Element icon. If you click on this icon, a window will pop up asking you if you wish to paste the element in this position. Simply select Paste and the task is done. Important to note is that pasted elements will always appear as disabled, meaning that you can see them on the back end but not on the front end. To enable the element, locate the toggle button between the Edit and Delete icon for that element. This will ensure that anything inside the content element is visible on the front end as well as the back end. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. Please consider subscribing to stay up to date with our tutorials.